We're in Rutland Street uh, National School and we're also, it's also a preschool, Holy Child Preschool. And we're here today, um, it's um, the second day of writing workshops um, that we're doing with children. Hands up high! Oh, yes. wow. Look what's inside the acorn, there is a special little tunnel. Do you want to feel it? Mm. Well, first of all, I just want to say I'm so delighted to be working with Rachel and when she asked me to come on board, I was really thrilled because, as Rachel said, we're going to schools all over Ireland. We're going to Belfast, Carlow, Galway, and it's great to be here in the inner city. One very important part of it is that there is going to be a time capsule inside. In many ways, a bit like a real acorn has a content and there is the potential for a future tree. So there's basically going to be wishes and dreams of, of people within this time capsule. Because the sculpture is made from pencils, mm -hmm. which are basically donated by the children, so they're not brand new pencils, they're kind of people's pencils. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just going to be little drawings and writing that will be scrolled up and, and put inside the stainless steel uh, capsule that will be within the uh, sculpture. We're working with little three-year-olds um, today, first of all, and we're hoping that we'll get them making and doing hands-on things, talking about their wishes and their dreams. Some of them yesterday wrote letters to their grandchildren. They get their work stamped with this beautiful seal, which mm. says, Jarka Nanini, People's mm. Acorn. And then, of course, they're all excited that hopefully at the launch, mm. they'll be able to come and see the beautiful acorn and their work going into it. Remember, no rules to writing, so just get it down. I wish in the future that everybody will be treated equally. Everybody should have a home. Everybody should have food and drinks. No to racism and respect. No to homelessness. They are all my ideas. I hope these will improve in the future. Hope you have a good life, whoever is reading this. Love, Dara. We are in Belfast and we are at St. Teresa's Primary School and we're delighted we're going to be doing a workshop here this morning. It actually is quite uplifting and makes me feel that the whole project is worthwhile. Like I feel it's all very positive and if they will be the adults of the future it's not going to be too bad at all. Can anybody see what is that made of? This is bronze and this is actually very heavy. I find children normally respond really well uh, to work I make. In general, what I, the, the outcome is usually quite simple, a simple idea. And for example, today, when talking about seeds, the children really responded very well to the idea of using it like a metaphor for the future and the past. There were universal themes came up as well, like homelessness, poverty, things like pollution to be gone. So, it really, it's about respecting. When we came into the school today as well, I saw a notice on, the, on one of the doors about respecting and caring for each other. And that all came into it. We give them lots of time and even let them chat away and tell them that there are no rules to writing at all, that you just kind of let it on the page and don't be worried about spelling or punctuation at this particular time because it's creative. I want them to know that I want to be a footballer when I grow up. I could say hello to my grandchildren. I want to be a person who is that makes clothes. What's coming back is all good. If they can go forward with those ideas, the future has to be bright. I think it's very inspiring to work with them. Their enthusiasm and their imagination and the way they take the whole idea on board. And you're right, the bedrock is the foundation, which is that we care and respect and love each other. And in a way, that's what Rachel shows. She shows the acorn with this hard foundation. And um, so the foundation is very important in the project. What is our base going to be? And the base seems to be respecting each other and caring for each other. And hopefully that the future for Ireland is bright and that it's going to grow and nurture and, and hopefully be a positive one.